Welcome back Future Medicos. In this video, we are going to look at the Tamil Nadu Counseling Day activities step by step as explained by a parent. Come, let's see. The first step, you need to reach Nehru Outdoor Stadium in Chennai at least one hour before the counseling time. So you look at the schedule, the schedule will tell you exactly what is the slot given to you and try to reach the venue at least one hour before the counseling time. The second step, wait in the waiting hall on the left side of the stadium entrance where charts are displayed about seat availability and last candidate selected details. So this uh, information I have shown you earlier also, there are LED screens which will show you exactly what are the vacancies available at that particular point of time and who are all the candidates taking the seats. Step number three, wait for announcement in the hall to call your rank range. There will be an announcement in the speaker saying that rank number 1100 to 1200 can go into the counseling hall now. So wait for that announcement. Once your rank is being called, that is normally they will call a range about 50 candidates, 75 candidates at a time. So once your rank range is called, go to the next step. So once the announcement is made, visit another waiting hall, which will be on the right side of the entrance where they will provide a badge for candidate and a badge for the parent or guardian. There will be only one allowed. So mother and father cannot go for the counseling. Only one person can go. So make sure that not too many people go into the counseling because um, the problem is also with COVID-19 situation. It doesn't make sense to take many people along with you. Just the candidate and one parent who can make a decision. Step number four, wait for announcement in the second waiting hall. Once again, to call your rank range to do the registration in the first floor. Again, they will call few people together for registration and during entry temperature is checked. Sometimes step number three and four might be together. Sometimes if you are in the early batch, maybe in the first batch, then probably step three and step four will be together. Otherwise, most likely it will be done separately. Step number five, when you enter the registration area, they will call by the rank. So keep your call letter printout ready. Candidate and parent are seated rank wise. So uh, you need to maintain the position. So in case if the candidates are moving ahead, the next candidate is moving, then you need to follow the candidate. So always maintain the seat according to the ranking. Don't try to jump the queue. And then they will collect the processing fee DD, which is 500 rupees. Before handing over the DD, make sure that on the back side of the DD, you write the candidate name, Tamil Nadu application number, general rank and phone number of either the candidate or the parent. So this is important. Make sure that you write it down. After a while, they will distribute the receipt by calling the general rank number. That is the receipt for the processing fee. Keep it safe. They will, they will be giving a few receipts. All the receipts has to be kept properly. Sometimes all these receipts may be needed even for your a second round counseling. So don't miss anything. Properly keep everything. This may be needed for your admission. This may be needed for your second round counseling. Step number seven, your registration form will be given to you where you have to enter the candidate's name, parent's name, address, neat roll number and scorecard number. I think uh, the scorecard number they do mean by neat roll number. So basically if there is a scorecard number, which is nothing but the neat roll number. We don't have two different numbers. In this form, you also have to paste a candidate photograph. Some of you were questioning me, sir, why you are talking about documents which are not even in the list given by DME? Now you can see that 
I don't think uh, in the uh, document given by DME, the schedule given, I don't think they have mentioned about the photographs anywhere. But suddenly in the counseling hall, they are asking for photograph. So better carry the candidate photograph, the same photograph which you have affixed in the NEET registration form. So carry the passport size photograph and paste it on the registration form. They will give you the glue, it seems, but if you can take the glue with you, that is safer. They will also take candidates left thumb impression and right thumb impression, three impressions each and signatures in the attendance sheet. After taking thumb impression, you need to wipe off the ink. So please carry some waste cloth or tissues or sanitizer or whatever possible you carry it so that the hand can be cleaned. Candidate alone will be called for taking photograph where your registration form has to be submitted. Iris scan will be done and document verification that is candidates document as well as parents documents verification will be done. Ensure that the candidate knows in advance what are all the original documents available and where or which file you have kept. So don't do everything as a parent, you don't do everything um, and the candidate doesn't know anything about the documents. So explain to the candidate everything you are doing. Every document you have putting in the file, tell him exactly what are all the documents you have because you don't want your son or daughter go into the uh, verification and then they give a wrong information. But however, in case if a help is needed by the candidate, they can call the parent for help. Tell your son or daughter that if they are not sure, if they are confused by the questions by the officer, ask them to call for help. After documents verification, they will give you a candidate verification confirmation document. So they, they will give you a document saying that they have verified the documents and the document will show you the candidate name, Tamil Nadu application number, neat marks, general rank and state eligibility. Keep it safe. In the document verification form provided, there is a second page. In the second page, write your address, phone number and DD details. That is the 500 rupees DD. You need to write the DD number, date, which bank you have taken and what is the amount. So even before you go into the counseling hall, keep a photocopy of the DD or take a snapshot of the DD with your mobile phone so that in case even if you have handed over the 500 rupees DD already at least you know the number and the details to fill in the form and also you need to fill the details of the DD for the tuition fees which may be like 13,610 or 25,000 or maybe 1 lakh I'm not sure what exactly is the fees so exactly that amount you need to fill and the details also you need to fill. Step number nine in the same form, you also have to fill selected college details. Of course, at this point of time, you do not know the college details. So you can fill this later. In fact, in the same form, I told you that you need to fill the DD details in case if you are not sure which college you will be selecting, whether you will be selecting a government college or private college, sometimes you do not know which DD to fill, then you can also don't fill the details of that DD beforehand. So you can wait until the seat allotment happens and then you can fill the college and then you can fill the DD details. In the second page of the form, three signatures of candidate and parent to be provided and one signature is needed in the first page. Step number 10, once your rank range is called, visit the seat allotment room and wait for your turn. While entering, they will take a candidate photo. So maybe for verification purposes, they will take a photo. Step number 11, wait for your turn to be called by sitting in the chair provided as per the rank. Once your rank is called, visit the seat allotment terminal, that is the computer, and hand over the filled document verification form. Once they check, they will ask you to choose the college. So this is where you have to be careful. This is where I advise you all to keep a sheet of paper where you have the list of colleges as per your preference. 
as you move into every step you know exactly what are the colleges available so as the colleges or taken away just cancel the colleges that are not available to you so at any particular time you know which is your best college so that at the seat allotment terminal you don't need to spend a lot of time you don't need to worry too much about it so choose your college calmly if you are going to take a few minutes take the few minutes tell the officer you need a couple of minutes i think they will understand they will give you the time so choose your college calmly confirm with your father or if the father is choosing confirm with the candidate both of you sit together confirm before you telling the allotment officer once the college is selected by the allotment officer he will show you in the screen look at that and give your confirmation only after your confirmation the officer will allot the college and print the document sometimes take note that this process may be delayed because some of the higher rank candidates might still not have selected a seat so normally about 5 uh, to 10 people will be waiting there will be 5 to 10 computers so somebody in front of you if he has not selected a seat you will not be able to select the seat but on that in that particular time you can choose the college then let the other candidate select the seat then your turn will come the computer will be able to lock your seat once seat is allotted document verification form will be handed over back to you right the document verification form we had will be given back to you now on the second page you can fill the selected college earlier i told you wait for the seat allotment now the seat is allotted fill the college name and in case the dd now you are knowing which college whether it is private college or government college then fill the exact details of the dd maybe the dd may be for 13000 the dd may be for 25000 fill the details and then walk towards the exit of the select seat allocation room and hand over the form to the person seated on the left side step number 13 collect the affidavit form the affidavit form is mainly to uh, give a declaration that you are not giving wrong information you are not claiming nativity in any other state so you have to pay rupees 200 in cash so make sure you have some cash with you fill the details of the affidavit form and hand over back to them this needs to be done by the candidate by standing in the queue depending on the crowd and at this time candidate needs to carry original aadhar card so make sure you have the original aadhar card uh, this may be changed to 100 rupees bond paper not sure but Uh, seems like the college admission process also have exactly the same kind of affidavit which is taken in a 100 rupees bond form anyway uh, keep some money with you so that if necessary you can do it if not necessary you can uh, change the process step number 14 while the affidavit form is filled by the candidate the parent can visit the office at the entry of seat allocation to hand over the tuition fee dd so the tuition fee dd as i told you may be 13600 or maybe like 25000 as per your college selection before handing over the dd once again please write your name application number general rank and phone number on the back side of the dd so that even if there is a mix up of the dd uh, the dd is properly taken care so make sure this is done collect the fee receipt once you give the dd for the tuition fees they will give you a receipt make sure you collect the fee receipt and keep it safe this needs to be submitted during college admission process so make sure that you have it once affidavit and dd submission is completed affidavit might have been done by the candidate dd submission might have been completed by the parent go for photo verification section candidate has to carry the call letter neat admit card and neat score card the officer there will verify the photo i think mainly this is done to ensure that the candidate attending the counseling is the same candidate as the one who wrote the neat exam so i believe that is the step once photo verification is completed visit the next area and wait for receiving documents like initial registration form and document verification form these documents you might have handed over now they will hand it over back to you wait for them and once you receive these documents you need to submit this to the next section and collect the provisional allotment order 
okay provisional allotment order right what is it this is your admission slip this is the confirmation that you have got a seat this is the most happier time in your career this is the most happier time for your parents but of course in the happiness in the excitement don't just leave the hall so that you can call somebody first thing verify the details look at the allotment order look at every detail there if you have some doubts if some details are not correct make sure that you report to the officer so don't leave the hall without checking the details so the form will also tell you what is the reporting time by which you need to complete the admission process so verify the details before exiting the counseling hall and that's it those are the 17 steps or more or less the number of steps that are needed for you to do in the counseling team this is purely based on the day one counseling experience shared by a parent he might have missed one or two steps or he might not have taken note of something uh, so this is this may or may not be the perfect one but I believe this gives you a overall view of what is happening within the counseling hall. So certain things you might be prepared in advance. So that's the purpose of this. This is not the purpose to tell you exactly what is happening inside. This is only to give you the guidance so that you are ready. So you don't miss some of the things. Thank you very much. I hope you find this video useful. If you find it useful, please share with your friends. I hope to see you in some other video soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.